Okay. So this was the, our uh, yesterday class. We discussed about the uh, introduction of the SAP, which is starting with the R1, R2, R3, like HANA database now stands for, which is like a ARP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning, then SAP stands for SAP System Applications and Product in Data Processing, and HANA database, which is High Performance Analytical Appliance multi -double. So yesterday we discussed about these points, right? And uh, now, uh, and also we discussed about that, uh, why we required SAP and what is the purpose of that and uh, how it will be communicated and how it is very, very uh, useful to the, um, our companies and uh, to get the revenues and all. That is the examples which is given yesterday, right? Now, these are the versions you can see that, okay? So if you are, if you get the chance to working on the ECC 6.0 version, okay? Or maybe if you're getting the chance, because let's, I'll just open my, uh, uh, this one, documentation. Okay, so if you get the chance to working on the ECC system, you must be aware about that, what is the ECC as well, okay? Okay, because uh, most of the clients still, they're not converted to S4 HANA, they are planning to convert, because they still have the time till 2030, so, because it's a little bit cost expensive and moreover, they need to get the uh, licenses and they need to get the approvals from the higher level and uh, other things, everything on software. So, they're still not converted. Few people, they're converted, but few people, they're started slowly. Okay. So, you must be aware about that ECC also, uh, rather than the S4 HANA, because 70%, 60% people still they are using the ECC version. Okay, so what you need to be understand here, okay, what is the versions, ECC versions we have. Okay, so ECC versions we have different different versions like 4.7 it is there, 5.0 it is there, then 6.0 it is there. Okay, so now the version was going on 6.0. Okay, so uh, initially it was 4.7, then after that 5.0, and again now it is coming like 6.0. So now the version wise it is started 2005, okay, uh, this is 6.0, that then they started, uh, uh, instead of that changing the version name, they are, they are adding to the packages, like uh, enhancement packages they are adding. Okay, so what is this actually? Why, sir, it is why so many versions are there? Okay, and why it is like ESP 1, 2, 3, like uh, different, different versions are there? Okay, the reason is if suppose my mobile is there, okay, iOS mobile is there, okay, in iPhone mobile. So every time the uh, iPhone, uh, iPhone, uh, Apple, they are releasing that new upgrades that means it might it might be some users or some com some um, uh, companies they are demanding that okay this is the future we don't have so i don't want to use the ios then they are taking that as a, a add-on and they are adding to the fu some features okay or it might be some users they're finding that some bugs and they are complaining keep on cl complaining that this is a bug this is bug then they are correcting that box and they are releasing the new nodes okay so that's what if you see that if you uh, if you see that in your settings and all they are releasing that new upgrades every maybe 15 days or every one month or two months or three months they are releasing the one version that version you are upgrading in the iphone the same way in the ECC also, they started with the upgrading. That means might be they are adding to new features or they might be correcting the some process and releasing the nodes. Okay, that they are in the ESP1, ESP2, ESP3, ESP4, ESP5 like now it is ESP8. Okay, clear? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so if yep. suppose you are getting any problem, let's say if I'm using the 4.7, okay, if I'm getting some problem, if I just reach it to SAP, uh, when I'm using this SAP application, this functionality is not working, but I just seen somewhere they are using this some functionality, then they will uh, request that, madam, this was the uh, 
you are using older version, but that was the latest version. Latest version have the more features. Okay, so if you upgrade to the latest version, so you can get the more more options, more more features into that. Okay, so if, if you want to give an example, I will just give an example. Okay, uh, there will be advanced payment. Okay, advanced payment vendor advanced payment it is there. Okay, what is the meaning of the advanced payment? Okay, before you before you are proceeding to get the stock from the vendor, the vendor is asking that when you creating the PO, you also need to be pay some amount. Uh, it may be initially payment of 10%, 20%, 30%, some advanced payment you need to do. Okay, but what it is like in the 4.7 and 5.0 the version, what will be happen? The advanced payment option we don't have. Okay, if you want to be paid the amount initially advanced payment that what you need to do you need to be generate the separate jv that means from financial side they have to be post to direct uh, posting and they have to be create that uh, advanced payment request and they have to be processed so there is no connectivity to po and here but later with the 6.0 version they are given options like advanced payment itself you can do in the po level when you creating the po in the PO, they are given that option. You can select that how much you want to be initiate. Okay. Then what will be happen? That advanced payment, if you proceed and pay, that is connected to PO. So when you next time when you paying the amount to the vendor or when you generating the invoice, the system will be detecting that amount which I paid invoice uh, advanced amount that will be detected and it will be showing the remaining amount to pay. Clear. So that was the one one feature. So like they are added every time new features like. Okay. Okay. So uh, open for questions. Any questions? No sir. Okay. Okay, so there are so many, so many features. It's not only metal management, it's not only HR, it's not only ST. Every area there will be releasing few features. So that where we can see this, they have they are creating SAP nodes. Okay, they are releasing SAP nodes. So SAP node is nothing but like a either it may be corrections or it may be uh, features. Adding the features. Okay, clear. So what is the meaning of correction? It may, if, if you find some bug, okay. Suppose I just creating that one the invoice, but I just seen that when I just do, doing some special process, okay. There was uh, some data was uh, getting wrong, okay. Or maybe the record which is getting it's uh, not exactly, which is my requirement. So then it may be, okay. It may be it's a standard, but it is not coming. So in that case, they'll be uh, sending these SAP notes, and they can. So in future, in the standard SAP process, if you getting any problem or anything which is not working, then you might be such for the SAP node to correct them. Okay, even you can. Uh, so there will be like uh, how it will be like. Okay, if I am the uh, service provider, if suppose I am the company. Okay, my company it is now again for my company the. Support team, support team is the different team. Again, again we have the other team as well. Okay, so this is the company. This is my company. They are using. Okay, that means you can users and core team members. All these people are there. Okay, now, and this is the support company. Support. Uh, support company which is like Accenture and IBM uh, Infosys like that okay they are supporting to the the company whoever they are requesting they are taking that they are supporting so they are supporting when you get the any uh, issues or any requirements developments anything okay so like configuration developments and bugs okay and uh, resolutions of the any issues Okay, user training, those kind of things support company will be do. And there is one more team they will be support that is the SAP team. Okay, SAP team. So what they will do in case support company, if they didn't find that any cause or it is a 
completely standard bug that is the we don't have access to do correction then sap team we can reach to the sap team sap team will uh, check that what kind of the issue it is and if there is any sap notes are there they will be releasing that and they will say that okay this is the sap note you can implement that then it will be corrected or something as standard which is not working so sap team will support only standard not customization clear okay so between these two our a company to support company between these two every um, moment it is the connectivity okay but between the company to our support company to sap team okay the it's very rarely it is like maybe uh, maybe it is very hot case you you cannot able to find or you cannot find the rca and it is something sap standards which is not pro getting problem then we can reach to sap team okay again sap team sap support team this is we call sap top team might be this is a this sap support team is the uh, direct sap team or it may be some other third party company okay so like how we have the support company it is a high level support team clear yes. is it clear okay yeah ravinda so um, yeah. basically this uh, sap notes uh, is uh, what we find on sap uh, website ha huh, we can find sap notes correct we are going to the sap market right marketplace okay there you can find us so many sap notes are there lakhs of sap notes are there okay again you need to be search that exactly whether the cause is correct or not and whether the resolution will be work or not and you need to be because sometimes what will be happening this sap note it might be functional related or it might be uh, technical related or it might be upgradation related okay so all these things you must be read and see that if it is a code correction then they will give that this is the code you need to be implement if it is a functional correction then they will give step by step this configuration changes and all you have to perform if it is basis related to, uh, to implement that some uh, adding the features or something that again they will return there okay clear that is sap note okay so that is our function i mean role of uh, sap consultant in industry right ah so in uh, it is not only sap note okay other than that we will be giving that box resolutions developments configuration this is the sap notes we are using high level when if there is any corrections or it may be any uh, standard sap functionality which is not working other than that if the client using the customization process that we need to be pro we need to be support okay so generally how it is like ams support is annual uh, maintenance support okay this is annual maintenance support and this is the sap support team is uh, when there is any critical situation that if the ams support team is not able to handle then sap support team will be handled if it is a standard clear so it is a completely uh, too expensive that uh, they will be charging high so when there is a situation ams support team company is not able to handle then sap support team will help you again that is uh, it's not only it's not for the analysis it's for the standard sap uh, any bug if you find any program bug find okay so they will not give the analysis and all they will give only for the what kind of the, when there is any if you find this is the problem in this sap application and uh, this is a standard functionality it should be work like this one but it is not working what we expected what sap supported then we can reach that okay again this is also third party company it's not only uh, sap it's third party company also they can depends again because there are the uh, different different partners are there sap partners okay so uh, that means we have the uh, bronze and we have the uh, platinum okay we have the gold okay so like we have the different different partners are there so sap will give based on the their strength and based on the their work and based on that uh, they will release that uh, sap gold partners gold partner or it may be bronze partner is a platinum 
right diamond partner like they will be giving that uh, ids okay the company recognition like kcp gold partner okay clear Yep. So, Ravindra, I have one question. So, yeah. basically, for example, like my company, they are working with IBM to mm -hmm. implement that uh, SAP mm -hmm. for HANA. Okay. So, like, uh, for example, like, okay, so they implemented, everything was working fine, but when we deploy that one, so if, like, user is not able to log in, we have to go with IBM, right? Mm, okay. Uh, question was a little bit tricky. So, you are saying yeah. that uh, they are not able to log in or uh, what is yeah, wrong? Yeah, not. Like, for example, we deploy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever changes we did, everything was fine. And like okay. when we did the testing, everything was working. But in the production, user is not able to log in. So, basically, that one is the defect. So, how, how we are going to work? Like, why who we are defect? going to ask? Why, why it is defect? What is the problem there? Basically, user is not able to log in, right? Huh. What is the problem there? Because like, there are a lot of things there. One thing, if the user is not able to log in, that means maybe the password was wrong, or maybe uh, maybe uh, the IP address, what they connected is not connected properly. And he is not authorized to log in. Uh, not authorized means he don't have the user ID? Access. He don't have the user ID? Uh, they have everything, but application is not working. For okay. example, application like, is not working means coding. that is authorization. Yeah. Okay, that oh, is that authorization. Is... Okay, that uh, authorization team will be you need to be connected to authorization team. See how it is like MM mm -hmm. module. They are taking care about the procurement and inventory. Mm -hmm. Like authorization team, there will be a, a security team either SAP security, GRC team, and SAP security team. They will give the authorization to the users. Based on their their roles, okay. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. roles again, who will decide that uh, the core team member, whoever the IT head from the mm -hmm. client side, they will give that. Okay, this person is especially working on the inventory, so don't give any other access. Only he have the inventory related limited. Mm -hmm. Limited. Okay, because yeah. the company uh, policy and uh, company data is uh, too secure. It is right. So yeah. when it is secure, then it is limited. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, obviously they will be uh, going with rules and regulations and policies. What it is mentioned in the documentation, based on that they will give authorization. <laughs> Again, if you need authorization, then you need to get the high level approvals. Then only they will provide that authorization. Authorization is a simple word. It's like a yeah. two minutes job, but getting the approvals at the high level. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is different, okay? Other issue. Yeah, that is different. Yep. Mm, yeah. So any questions other than that? Not from my side. Okay. And if any other, anyone have the other talk? Okay. So this is the version now. Okay. EHP one, mm -hmm. EHP two, EHP three, EHP four, EHP five, EHP six, EHP. Now it is like EHP eight version. It is going and so they stop till EHP eight and uh, now. Uh, people so they are motivating to go S4 HANA. Okay. So this was the uh, version is here. Okay. Uh, this is the ECC version. Now let's go to S4 HANA, which we discussed yesterday. Okay. So can able to see here S4 HANA. So as we discussed yesterday, we have on premises and cloud, right? So if you remember that yesterday we discussed about on premises and the cloud. Okay, on premises is located on your organization, which we discussed yesterday. It is there with you and uh, your own servers and managing in house and uh, annual innovation cycle with several uh, smaller updates each year. Mm -hmm. That means, uh, uh, that means every uh, yeah, please. One minute, one minute. ACC, I have understood. Yesterday oh. you told about HANA and then S4 HANA. So. Uh, after ECC, HANA generated? After ECC, HANA database it is implemented, yes. HANA okay. database okay. is introduced. HANA yeah. database is introduced, but it's a choice again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So HANA is basically database. HANA is database. And I'm just talking about the application. ECC, after that, is for HANA application. Yes. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now coming to S4 HANA versions, it is on premises and cloud. Okay, so on premises is nothing but like it is located in your 
own organization your own warehouse where you can uh, maybe you know where you can manage that okay so regularly you have to be take care about that uh, every backup and all and coming to cloud is hosted externally someone on sap servers they are maintaining okay it is like uh, they will be charging monthly or quarterly or yearly they will be charged them all okay it's kind of that uh, what we are using generally cloud servers for more if you see my mobiles like uh, Google Cloud, it is there, Microsoft Cloud, it is there. Nowadays, it's cloud is very, uh, is a common topic, right? Common word, because uh, if I have the images, if I have the photos, I'm storing into the cloud because uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure when my mobile will be uh, damaged or when maybe my device will be damaged. So I'm just storing it to that. Uh, instead of memory cards, I'm storing at a uh, cloud level. So it's common. Word. So the same way it is like ARM administrators and the cloud, okay? So until 2020, all SAP S4 HANA versions was maintained, named as month and year. That means, okay, every year, SAP versions will be released. So S4 HANA release. So here, if you're talking about the ESP on ESP to ESP like that, so here and the, we discussed about that 4.7, 5.0, 6.0, .0, like here also, S4 HANA level also, they are, they are releasing the versions. Okay, so earlier how they design like year and month. Means if it is a 2019, okay, then year is 1919 and month is, if it is a uh, November or December, it's like 1912, 1911, 1909, like that it is released. Okay, but now in the, they revised the naming conversion from the 2020 and going going forward it is like a year only 2020 2021 like that they are released okay yes. okay is it clear so but it is only for the on-premises cloud releases will continue with the same naming conversion okay so you can see that the uh, the released what version it is like okay uh, so you can see that 1511 1511 means what do you mean by 1511 we said right 2015 get less for hana fully implemented right so 2015 is started so 15 means november 2015 it is released this version okay and 16 10 means october 16 october 16 now it is again september september 17. 17. so like it is a each and every version which is coming now it is a 2020 mm -hmm. Clear? In 2020, yeah. So that's what I said, right? I said, right? So from 2020, they are changing the naming. It is like year only. Year only, right. Okay. Clear? Yes. yes. So this is the on premises versions here. Okay. So in the interview point of view, if, uh, if you, uh, they will ask about that. Okay. Boss, which version you are working? You are working uh, 1610. If you say something like 1605, then they will say, is it 16.05 okay. also? There is the version is there. Okay. Yes. So it's very carefully you have to be answered. That. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So now, okay. So this is the version. So any questions on the SAP S4 HANA version? Not from my side. Okay. Any other one? Others? No, I'm good. Okay. And Sukumar, you are there? We are back to yes, we are back to home. Hello. You are yes, back sir. to home. Yes, back to back oh, to home. Sir. Okay. Hope you are understanding. Or you do you have any questions? Because yesterday you are not. No, sir. Your... No, sir. I am understanding. Okay. 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 Good. Okay. Then. Uh. Then. Okay. So. Uh. This is the what introduction of the SCP uh journey. Okay. Then I can see that I will just tell you uh different different modules we have like uh, mm. PP, GM, ST, F5, CO, HR. So like a number of it is like around uh, 90 plus 100 plus modules are there. Okay, so so if you are working for the MM material management, okay, so you are the uh, specialist in the material management. Okay, so and HR person there will be different, and F5 person is different, ST person is different. All these people are different okay now now 
okay uh, which i discussed yesterday centralized decentralized okay so you uh, any questions on the centralized decentralized what is the difference between centralized and decentralized what is the difference between the centralized and decentralized centralized means uh, uh, a specific group of people will get that access and decentralized means anyone can access it no 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 <laughs> you are changing the word okay centralized is nothing but like a, it's a central you can simply central component yeah, anyone central component. can access uh, ah. exactly the opposite i have to <laughs> okay Sorry. So cent central component is centralized is nothing but like a, anybody can access right ah, so it's not like the words like uh, everyone is using it's words like central component central component is nothing but like a, it is single server in the single system i can use that all the modules okay that means uh, mm pp stqm all these modules which is there in the in central that means okay everyone can access and uh, all the modules it will be there in the single system okay and if it is a decentralized that means whatever the area you are decentralized that we are maintaining with a separate system okay so why we are maintaining decentralized decentralized because okay if we maintaining the centralized okay the load of the uh, data is a more okay maybe if you are thinking that this area is very very important if this area is suddenly down then it will be impacted on the my entire way. Uh, operations then you might be you might be take that concern as the important point and you can separate that the separate that area to the separate system okay then you can maintain that as a decentralized system so that it won't be impacted your memory that means the speed is high and it won't be because in this single server you are using only your uh, ewm or you are using only your wm operations so in that case what will happen uh, there is no more button on this system because other areas are maintaining the other system you don't have much button on this system so it won't be impact much okay so why it is like if some, suddenly there is a too much high load in the centralized system suddenly might be the server will be down and we cannot able to work and there must be there will be like so many customer uh, deliveries will be impacted and customers okay and there will be a, too much goods will be impacted then my revenue was impacted so that's what to be just to uh, consider if the client is asking that i i just want to go partition to that to the separate system then i can go ahead clear that is a decentralized system okay again centralized to decentralized system there must be connectivity should be there why it is required connectivity why from why we need connectivity from the centralized system decentralized system if let's say on example yeah because uh, people from uh, other department may need to access like uh, yesterday you told salesperson may need to access may need to check the stock available so he need to get access uh... okay okay so you're saying about uh, uh, by looking to data but to other than that operation level okay see now if you see that uh, i'm you I'm, I'm doing st and pp and qm okay and fi and co okay hr okay then okay so like uh we can ps pm like if i have a different module and i have the uh, one module which is like warehouse management is a decentralized system okay so why it is required to, the connectivity from here because master data is creating in the metal master metal management and sales orders are created in the st purchase orders are created in the metal management and quality inspection which is happening in the qm production orders are created in the pp okay the purpose why we are using the warehouse to storing the stock storing the inventory right so 
if i am not communicated from here to here the purchase orders and the sales orders and the production orders if i not communicated then to whom they are sending the goods it is not simply keeping the stock is not it's not like that right it's not like that we just keep the stock right we also should be have the metal moments metal moment how it will be happen if i receive the goods there is a metal moment if i send the goods to the outside that is a metal moment if i if i send the goods to the production department that is metal moment so there must be interaction between the centralized system to decentralized system to get the stock into the centralized system to proceed to deliveries and customer deliveries and everything and production of the address confirmation channel and again once i get the stock again the wm team has to be uh, communicate with the purchase order team what purchase order they are raised and how much stock it is raised and everything that is communicated so there must be decentralized to centralized centralized to decentralized there must be communication is required clear yes okay so this is the decentralized and centralized system okay so that's what it is like okay so any questions on this one uh, or can i go ahead for the next topic it is fine can i go ahead yep okay okay now sap landscape okay this is also one thing introduction part uh, which you must be aware you must be because it has a real time you must be aware on the landscape what is the landscape actually What is the landscape? Anyone have that idea about the landscape? Structure. Okay, what structure? Uh, I mean, uh, what are the programs there are? Okay. Features. Uh, okay, okay. So it's not in the application. It's outside of the application. Okay, so this, this is kind of the architecture. This kind of the architecture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So landscape is nothing but like a. Uh, it's again client interest. So how they want to go ahead the landscape. Okay. So when you started working for the SAP in the real time, okay, you must be aware about that. What uh, landscape they are using? Okay. So generally, what kind of the landscape we have? Okay. One is development. Okay. Then the next one is uh, quality. Then we have the production. Okay, so development, quality, and production. Okay, so why? Because uh, if you see that in the top, I just say that okay, we are the uh, different different uh, people that are working in the SAP system, right? There are different different people are working in the SAP system. Okay what type of the people they are working functional team functional team and technical team then users super users core team members so like different different people are working okay so if you see that functional team and technical team is the responsibility of designing and development right whatever the client recommend that functional team and technical team they are supporting and they are uh, designing that what client requested right and the users and super users and core team members they are performing the live which is like what my business activity is performing today if i got the one order from the one custom one order from the one when suppose one uh, sales order which we received from one customer that we created again which we have created one purchase order so that is a live example this is like a live business how it is going that but to proceed that live example i must be uh, design that what functionalities needs to be activated that we are activating okay so in this case if you see that this is the production i said right the production pi i put that production then it is like quality just put and here if you can see that development 
okay so what did be happen development quality and production the functional team and the technical team they will be designing in the development system okay they will be designing the in the development system okay then they will be tested in the development system and one round of de development test testing they will do then they will move to the quality system and they will be revalidating that the data which is flowing correctly and the data which is validating has per the client recommend and we also requesting to the users just validate that is that correct to uh, what we designed has per your request okay if it is not good again i have to go back and i just to do the changes in the development system again i will be checking that cross checking that and i will be moved to quality system okay so in the development system quality system what will be happen okay in the development system is for the designing and uh, development purpose and the quality is nothing but like a validating of the uh, your design is that correct or it is a uh, what you did the uh, is the uh, as per expectations my recommend expectation all these things okay once this first round and second round it is completed and they approve then it will be moved to live system so production system is nothing but like a live system so you cannot perform directly the changes into live production system once you did the validations once you did all these things then only you can move to production system. clear under the quality means uh, we can say testing team ah testing you can say testing unit testing and everything testing okay. client you can say okay and then it will hand over to uh, uh, end, end user and you just yeah so here here itself it will happen vat as well okay so here they can do one round of the unit testing okay then they can move to the quality system because every time they cannot to go quality and they cannot check right so basic testing they can do in the development system then they can move to quality and they will do testing and they will be giving to the users performing the user acceptance testing so is this basically a sap structure Mm -hmm. landscape. Ha, landscape this is the landscape okay so again depends of the client okay depends on the client if they want to be go with the uh, high level servers and high level structure and all they could there might be have the different different systems are there okay is it my voice is audible there is no um, disturbance yep. right no okay, okay. so so ba basically it is a basically it is like a just uh, uh basic level landscape but again high level basic high level landscape again they have the uh, sap studio s4 hana studio so basically is the based on the company to company right company yeah it depends uh, yeah uh -huh. it's company to company or client yeah. to client what are you yeah, okay basically so, mine is a different totally so yeah but a similar one so not big deal uh, so it's common generally it is common but maybe they have the few okay i will tell you what extra. will be there mm -hmm. yeah extra will be there i will tell you what will be happen in the development system okay the development system what will be happen there might be have the different clients are there if suppose i have the client 100 that 110 120 140 okay so in the development system itself i have the multiple clients okay each client have the their own functionality like 100 it is only for you can do configuration okay this is golden client okay then 110 110 is only they can do technical team do the developments that means program level if they want to do any code changes they can do and 120 it is like this it is just like unit testing that means once configuration or development system it is completed they can do validations in the unit test okay or it, they can use like sandbox sandbox is nothing but like a some kind of the uh, scrap box which you what you want to do you can do it means it, it is not impacted any other systems this is an individual client that won't be impacted to any of other clients and it is just for the trial and verse trial uh, and perform okay clear so it might be depends on the client how they want to go ahead so it's again i can create a number of clients in the one development system clear is it clear yep okay and again coming to the quality 
again go to quality system okay in the quality system maybe they have that uh, uh, pre quality quality system then they might be have the 500 or something and uh, quality system they might be have the 600 so what is the pre quality and quality okay pre quality might be a functional team they once they move the changes they will uh, check that and they will be validating that if everything is looks good then they will move to 600 for releasing the UAT. They can perform the UAT here, users. Okay. Yeah. Then production might be have the again or uh, two servers. What servers it is pre-production and production. So pre-production is nothing but like a uh, every day uh, they will be taking the backup. Okay, they will be taking the backup and they will be uh, mention this production live system data to pre-production system okay so what it is why it is required okay um, they want to do some regression testing and uh, other performance testings once it is uh, all up approved they want to see that with production data if anything which is impacted so they can do regression testing and all in the pre-production system then they will move to the production system they will move to the production system Right, so it depends again, okay. So it is not necessary, everyone should be go with the pre-production or it's not necessary, everyone should go to the sandbox. It's not required, okay, clear? Okay, so landscape when, if you check that other system, okay, they might be have the SAP EWM system, they might be have the APO system, they might be SAP IS retail system, okay. There might be a SAP core system, okay? So like they have n number of systems are there, okay? Clear? So again, SAP BW is there. Do you know that SAP BW? Business warehouse. No. Oh, okay. It's for the uh, reporting purpose, analytical report purpose. Oh, okay. okay, that means diagrams and pie diagrams and reports, barcodes, how it will be designed that they can use with uh, S4 HANA Studio. With S4 HANA Studio also they can use. They can design the what uh, report they are planning to that. So like a number of maybe depends on the client what they are planning to implement in the system that they can do. So landscape when you're talking about landscape different different landscapes are there. So in your client what is the landscape? It must be it must be sequence it is it must be the like sequence development system quality again the clients if you are might be it depends to client how they are designed okay it's not necessary if you, you must be go with 100 you must be go with 110 like that okay Uh, Ramit, I uh, have one question not related to this okay. one. It's like stupid question. Okay. So basically, you know, right, I'm working as a business analyst. So what is my uh -huh. role here? Basically, the documenting, right? Uh -huh. In this, business, like, you know, okay. whatever you say. Okay, good. Does that okay. see anything? So? Okay, so role, when it is coming to role, okay. So again, uh, depends on the, your company policy. Okay, oh, they will okay. be allotting the role. Okay, so if suppose they are like a uh, uh, business analyst, okay, suppose a business analyst, mm -hmm. or it may be associate to consultant, okay, or it may be a senior consultant, okay, or consultant, okay, or lead consultant, okay, or senior business analyst. Okay, or uh, just like uh, they will mention that, okay, just the business uh, uh, advisor. So like it depends roles, how their company design their roles and all. Again, company to company it is different. I cannot simply say I'm the consultant in Accenture. I'm not, I'm, I cannot simply say that I am the consultant in IBM. They might be have a different agent. Okay. okay. So when I work with one of the company, they are maintaining like business analyst, senior business analyst, and business advisor. Like they are maintaining. If I okay. I work in the different company, they are saying that okay, you are the consultant, you are the junior consultant, you are the senior consultant, you are like that. 
okay yeah so depend on if i go to someone somewhere what they said okay boss you are the program manager you're not the business analyst he said what <laughs> are it maybe okay <laughs> so all it will be the same okay it is a depends on the roles how they are designing the their own organization they will be following that okay yeah equal okay. so what you need to be see, what every time what you need to see equivalent to the that role what it is generally if it is that they saying that program uh, analyst okay that equivalent to that program analyst it is might be senior consultant or consultant or associate consultant like you have to be so they must be go with the grades and all okay most of the companies they are going with the grade okay so it it like maybe seven grade six grade five grade four grade again in the seven a and b okay again six a b okay so everywhere it will be a senior level uh, associate level again they will be dividing that two figures okay so that's what mm -hmm. grades so, okay so it depends again okay. clients how they are following that okay? company yeah, but yeah yeah so but they need someone to document their stuff right Hmm, a chat team they will be documented. What what documented? I, I'm not sure. I, I didn't get it's like one. basically that business want like you know whatever huh? you mentioned already the development and all those things. Development huh? happen when huh? you that have process the plan again like different. Huh? That okay. process is different again. I'm talking yeah. about only landscape. I'm not talking landscape, about the process. Yeah. I'm not yeah, talking yeah, about the it. process. Okay. Implementation process yeah. is different. Support that again different. User manuals and UAT. Yeah. Okay, so that documents are different. Here I'm talking about only landscape. Okay, yes. so how the outside if I'm just talking to my systems, what we have done. So when you join into the any of the client or any of the company, you must be aware about that what landscape they are using. Okay, because yes. because why it is very important if I'm connecting from the SAP EC system to BW, ECC to SAP BW okay that mm -hmm. if you're not aware about this one this landscape it is there then tomorrow if somebody is coming and they're saying that boss can you get this data from bw oh god i don't know this landscape is there again the question mark right because i didn't mm -hmm. get the kt huh so yeah. very important thing is when you are going on kt or something all the transfers you must be asked that what landscape they are using and uh, okay and what kind of things it is like clear yep other than this one okay this is the landscape point of view other than this one what you said uh, documentation right so there are many many documentation yeah. wait i have a question for shaila shaila uh, your question was uh, you are a business analyst and what will be your role right why this question i didn't uh, get Oh no, just asking basically they're starting from the development side, right? Like basically started from the development. So I was just asking that, like, you know, how we are going to document and all those things and who is going to document. No, no, he is asking Initial. that has a role, has a role, what activities they need to be performed in the, the organization. Right, Shela? That is what? Yep, that was the question. Is that, uh, 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 any questions or can i go ahead yeah you can go ahead oh yeah okay so because he is asking that he uh, her role is a business analyst so what kind of the documentation or what process i need to be followed that it depends again the company to company okay so even if i am the business analyst maybe they respect me that you are the senior consultant depends again okay the core so you must be understand that your grade and what levels and that thing in their organization based on that you should go ahead furtherly how to proceed for that and that everything they must be provided at the time of kt knowledge transfer okay so what do you mean by kt knowledge transfer huh, knowledge, what do you mean by knowledge transfer basically you'll get that. okay go ahead yeah. <laughs> whatever process you you know or you have discovered you have to tell it to someone else ah, okay so handovering to someone yeah. okay yeah. handovering yeah. to someone is nothing but like if suppose you are going replacement of the someone 
he will be giving the knowledge transfer boss this is the process we have this is the documentation these are the links these are the connectivity this is the you know, how to connect like this one and these are the like which we will get all this information they will transfer okay that is knowledge transfer okay. so coming to the documentation level so when you are doing the uh, support or if you are doing the implementation if you are doing the rollout if you are doing upgradation whatever it may be there must be documentation is required for each and every it depends on the again client it depends on the company so some companies they are following their own structure of the documentation and rules and regulations and if i go to some doc some company okay they will be having the different different structure okay so if you suppose i'm just going to ibm and ibm what will happen um, if I need to change the single configuration, there must be a number of documentation. Again, if I go to Infosys, okay. Again, if I need to change a small info configuration, a small development, then I need to be maintained as a number of documentation. So like, it will be like each and every company have the, their roles, their own roles, okay. In respect of the change, they will be maintaining the documentation in high level. Okay, so what it is the high level, okay, again, the first thing is configuration document. Okay. okay. And if there is any uh, any conf any customization or it may be development change, then they have the development side. They have the uh, uh, TD uh, document technical document. It is there. Okay. Then. And if it is like uh, functional specifications, if you are preparing, then there will be a FST will be there, functional specifications. Okay, and there will be a testing documents will be there. Okay. And you may have the a functional unit testing is there, and you will be have the user the acceptance testing documents are there. Okay, and the approval documents are there and requirements gathering uh, cr will be there change request form okay so like we have n number of documents are there okay it depends again clients requirement how they are going so again ts will be there tst technical specifications okay and yeah. approval approval it is like approval which is for the production deployment approval document if there is any job change okay if there is any mm -hmm. job change or something which is like job means it's not a, a company to company job it is like a, a sap job okay a sap running job there will be a few jobs are there okay if you need to be create jobs or something that way again we have a different different documents so like n number of documents it is there so when you are taking the t for this uh, uh, KTE section, you must be asked that, okay, what documents you are following, what kind of the documents you are maintaining. So what kind of the documents I have to be prepared. Okay. Why it is required FST? Because once you are planning to change the configuration, okay, you must be explained that what kind of the changes you are planning. And if it is impacting to the other process and your higher level manager have to be approved at FST. Clear? Yep. So any questions on this one? So this is all documentation part. Is Docu documentation will be basically depend on company to company. Company, yeah. The company to company or client to client. client. They will they won't structure their own format to be there. If I'm suppose if, if I'm working for Arvin, Arvin is following the some different document documents. Okay. And it is again it's it's secured. It should not be okay that's what they are using that they won't share points okay so that means even if you prepared and your process the document that is the ownership is client only okay so it will be stored in the client store client share point yeah please uh, i want to understand uh, mm -hmm. as per uh, my knowledge or whatever i knew mm -hmm. uh, basically mm consultant is what they are um, uh, they are working with the uh, software i mean working with the sap they are basically generating material related information Correct. they are Correct. generating Correct. materials right forms Correct. and 
so in between where does this documentation part comes okay okay so has of the what we discussed is completely introduction and it is for what its purpose is real time when you are performing anything in the material management okay that should be as a documented suppose let's say okay, fine, i okay. got a buyer group okay if the, my client requested that you please create the one buyer group hmm. okay suppose let's say i got something which is like a, a nautica a brand okay which is like elastic uh, brand okay so let's say okay some nautica elastic brand so there is a new group which is need to be added into the my system okay so what will we do to create this one first i need to be prepared the configuration document or i need to be prepared the first document and i need to get the approval from higher level then i need to be create a configuration document then perform that changes and do the testing vat fvt then only they will be approved to move the changes to products so it's kind of the process steps documents okay so you are doing the sap application work only but doing this one you must be know about that what documentation is uh, you prepared basically a process huh, basically it's a process your company process okay some people they will not ask documentation you can directly change and you can move that but some people they will ask that you must be do the UF, UAT. you must be do the testing document you must be attached to all these things then only the higher level people they will be approved okay so that's what okay whatever the documents you created you it will be you'll be storing in the share point okay that again client to share point it is okay so this is what it is introduction okay basically the process and the landscapes and the versions to be there in the sap okay so these are the basic so there are so much introductions are there but it is not necessary as a consultant what it is necessary i just covered here so tomorrow we'll go directly uh, to discuss about the material management to, okay then uh, how it will be useful to the, our client and what uh, process we have what sp special business process are there that will start tomorrow okay, okay. okay. So tomorrow do we have the class i'm okay oh, yep huh? i'm i'm good with tomorrow okay then we'll start then tomorrow okay yep. so then good uh, have a nice weekend to both okay thank you